Hey everyone, welcome back, and uh, let's go look at the enemy data. Uh, okay, Julia is a hunter. Uh, there's five people. Wow. Okay, Julia the hunter. Um, gorilla known for expert boomerang skills. Oh god, not boomerang skills. And they're all fast. Crap. This is gonna suck. Uh, priest, get rid of him first. And immunity to gas. I wish I did. Yeah. Lost confidence after being uh, beat by Grandor. Okay, you're fine. You're a fighter. You're a uh, little monk. I like you. Just a regular soldier. This is Grandor. Okay. Um, veteran mercenary of countless wars. Okay, cool. Jackal. Red blood foe. Joined the ranks after. The... Okay, he's an opportunist. Well, don't turn my back on Jackal. So, here we go. Let's get it going. You know what loadout I'm taking? Vengeance. And so, with that, here we go. Let's watch the intro. Time to invade the castle. So it is. Gerald and Rain were probably killed in there, so be careful. I could have stopped this entire invasion, but I chose not to, because I get more money. Okay. Huh. That's a little hopeful for you. We must split up after this mission, so stay alive. Um, who's where, and what am I doing? Oh shit, there's Grandor. Ow. Shit, not gonna get a perfect run here. Um, okay. Now, let's set up the spark rod. Okay. Just gonna set it over here, because it's water more than I'm trying to attack than anything else. Fire arrow... Uh, I'm trying to set it on the low wall there, and it's not going to let me, is it? Nope. And I can't set it there because of the door. Okay, with that in mind, I'll just set it over here. Uh, that was a misplace. Spike rock. Alright, spike rock's going to be... Uh, Falling down and uh Okay, come on, Grandor. Step into the Yeah, no, I uh misplaced that. No. I can't set the device there. I can set it there though. Okay. Now come at me, bro. Come at me. Now he's in the water. Good. Spike rock. Flame arrow. Damn it! Note to self, next time set the spike rock on top of the, uh, person. Okay. Uh, how do I set this one up? Okay. Trap set. Uh, yeah, heavy claw right in front of the door. Good. Uh, press wall. And... Uh, spike rock. Uh, count out four from there. One, two, three, four. Right there. Okay. Okay, he's gonna be coming through the door anytime soon. That's awesome. Three, two... Gotcha! One damage, and... Oh! Crap, that was the wrong... I needed a tack wall. Okay, um... Okay. I can... Okay, good, I can reset the spike rock. Um... Heavy claw. I want to be a heavy claw. Where do I want it? Uh... Let's set it up in the middle here. Or no, at the bottom. Okay, that, that works better. 
lame arrow. Yeah, right there. And spike rock as a spike rock as a spike rock. Okay, let's hope that this one works out. Saki's not going to be coming anytime soon. Ah, I missed! Shit! Ah, uh, I hate it when I miss. Now I need to actually get him to where he's going to get into the trap. After it resets and Saki's coming. Great! Uh, run out of this room. Find a different place I can set up. Um, I'll leave this entire trap to see if it's just my timing. Alright, well, come on. Shit, they're both coming. Saki should be in front. So, with that in mind, I gotta go over here. Oh, uh, crap! I missed with all of it! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Get out of here! Okay, Saki's gonna be right on my ass. I don't have time to set up a real trap here. Um, fuck! Back up. Good. Alright, now, uh, Saki's right on my ass. Um, don't get hit, don't get hit, good. Um, heavy claw, good, uh, no, landmine. Let's put it here. Yeah, here. Um, Press wall. Attack wall. Send them. Um, no, press wall. Good. Um, confuse gas. Set it over here. Okay. Alright, now I would need to set off the landmine, hit the press wall over the landmine, have them blow up after I've already hit the confuse gas before I hit the. Okay, I got it. Uh, yeah. No, let's set it up over here. That way, whenever they walk in, they're just gonna get confused. What? Grandor just took 35 damage. Another 35 damage. How did he just die? Wow, you're a dumb shit! Rattlefuss is in. Great. Shit! He's right in my way. Um, fuck, Saki. Get the landmine. Ah. Good job, good job. Press wall? No. Okay, now let's set up uh, that same base trap. I like that trap. And this time, let's use the attack wall. I don't know, press wall? Yeah, no, attack wall, good. Alright, now, heavy claw. Heavy claw, come on, there we go. Trap them right there. Saki should be slow by now, so this might actually go a little bit easier than I expect. Uh, huh. Let's walk over here, turn back. Nope. Nothing on the base. Alright, no, crap. Oh shit, she flew too far. Okay, um... Okay, I know that I've got to work this one out. Um... And I know I've got a chance to. So... Get him in here. Get him close. 
hit Spike Rock first, Gleam Arrow after uh, Spark Rod. So, here's the idea. Hit Spike Rock now. Nope. Good. She at least got hit by it. That was a bad three hit combo because it didn't actually combo. So, uh, next time, we'll try something different. Uh, Jackal should be in the first turn, too. Crap. There was nowhere to go. Um, yeah, there he is. Fuck, 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 fuck. Um, alright, now let's see what I can do here. Uh, this is not a bad trap, but let's go with Press Ball over here. Uh, Heavy Claw. Yeah, Heavy Claw right here. Yeah. And, uh, what should I use? Uh, Confuse Gas. Okay. Crap! Nothing, nothing, nothing. Come on. Confuse gas. Good. Gonna hit. Good. Come after me, bro. Come after me. No, he's walking in the street. Fuck! Rattlefuss! Alright, come on. Where is everyone? Um. Spike Rock. Yeah, right there. Uh, press wall. Yeah, press wall. Yeah, let, let's go for the by the door one. Uh, heavy claw. Just put it over. Nope. Yeah. That works. That'll be easier to escape from. Um. Now, let's see what's gonna happen. Is he gonna come up? Good. Got it. Now... Come on, Spike Rock, Spike Rock. Crap! Get the press wall first. Uh, fuck. Uh, yeah, you get to see exactly how bad I am at the game right now. Um... Let's switch up where the confused gas is. Alright, since I know he's going to be walking directly is straight forward, so here we go. Uh, heavy claw right here, and uh, confused gas is right. Attack wall. I need the attack wall so it'll just throw him directly into the path of the hub. And just have him flying right back into the heavy claw if possible. Okay. Come on in. Confuse gas. And walk forward. Just step forward. Come on. Shit. Now I gotta trap him and throw him. Attack walls are not helping me in my quest here. Um, yeah, press wall. Make it easier on myself. Um, hopefully, this will actually work, and I can hit him with the act uh, with the base this time. Turn in. Shit! Rattlefuss is getting electrocuted now. That's all I know. Now I'm getting out of here. Um. Shit, shit, shit. Jackal. Uh. Uh. Just, just die like. Like Saki did. Come on in. The water's death. Uh. Come on. Come on. Good. Here we go. Uh, I hit it. Damn it! How did I hit that fast enough?
Okay, trap set. Uh, heavy claw. Right there. Yep. Rest wall here and uh, heavy claw moves back. Good. Uh, spiker uh, here. Attack wall. Okay. Uh, no, just press wall. Just press wall. Uh, spike rock right here because I can predict where the press wall is going to leave them. Okay. Let's wait for them to get in because as soon as they do, it's going to be a claw, a wall, and then a big ass rock. Claw, wall, rock. And he's still not dead! Fuck this guy. Okay, is Rattlefuss in? Oh, he's walking up the exact same path. Got them both, and waiting on Spike Rock. Spike Rock, hurry up. Good. Spike Rock hit. Spike Rock killed Rattlefuss. Yes! Okay, now, let's get out of this room. Alright. How'd you get into this room? Uh, no. No, I'm not Rena. Not, a, not at all. Shit. I just made my life a living hell. Good. Hit her with the hook. Damn it. Still doesn't work. Um. Okay. I'm gonna need to go and get uh, health here in a little bit, but first. Shit. She's fast. She's way too fast right now. Uh, health. Help save me. Okay. Where are you coming from? Right there. I already know where you're coming from. What am I doing? Shit, no, you're not coming from there. Jackal must be coming from there. He's going the other way. No, that's Julia. Okay. Hey, Julia. Come get me. The fuck! I hit the I hit the spike rock first. Ah oh, shit! Good, I got around him. Now he's gonna be the first through that door. Cause all he needed to do was turn around. He just got hit by both the stress wall and the spike drop. He's dead. Okay. Yes, you have. You hit me once. That's all you needed to do. Alright. Come on in. Come on in, Julia. Come on. Get in that door. Good. Press wall. Now. Spike Rock is going to hit her whenever it's up and there. Shit. Okay, I got lucky there. Um, heavy claw. Let's set it in front of a pillar. Let's do this the easy way. Uh, press wall. I'm gonna need a first wall to knock this over. And now, um, Jesus. This is the only way I'm gonna get her to walk straight forward without attacking. Come on, Julia. Come on. Shit! Run, 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 run. 
Good. Hit there. Uh, I don't. The confused gas doesn't overlap. Shit. Did that kill her? Good. Oh fuck. Ooh, wow. That was a little bit intense. Okay. Mission five clear. Good. Alright. Perfect genocide. Total hit bonus. Nice. Uh, life bonus wasn't good. Spike rock, spike rock, vault chair, spike rock, pillar. I know I can't get past the spike rock, but the spike rock is sim simply effective, so. Um. Now, let's see what our next challenge is going to be. Yep, we already know that. Okay, we're assuming that it's powerful people, though the player knows that it's Dark Moon. So, we'll see what happens. Or Dead Moon, rather. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I think next time we're in here, I get to fight against Dead Moon and another person. And. I want to know what happens if I go for perfect genocide. Or if I let one of them go. I might actually do a branching path, uh, uh, branching path thing on this one. I might play this one multiple times. To see where it goes. And I'll put them all up on the same day, and if you guys are interested, I'll do all of the, uh, all of the paths after that. I know the rest of them are probably branching up to this point, or I know there are probably a couple of branching ones up to this point. Like if I had let the first person escape, or if I had let uh, the other two escape, or, you know, uh, we'll see. But I actually, I'm kind of liking where it's going. I probably could have answered yes to Reyna and let her escape, and then we'd be talking a very different story, too. But with... Or in, you know what? No, and sticking with the run, I'm gonna go for perfect genocide. Just because... That seems to be what this game wants you to do, in a way. Alright. King will take shelter and Reyna shall guard the castle. And... I must protect the castle and keep it safe. There is no other way to interpret that than total genocide. And we see a merchant called Hornstein and Dead Moon, who is obviously a villain. Well, that means that in the next episode, this is definitely where the paths diverge. Or stay the same. We'll have to see. Because I'm sure killing at least one of these people will incite Keith to do something. If I kill only Hornstein, Dead Moon gains more political power. If I kill Dead Moon, Keith gains power. If I kill them both, the King gains power.
With that set up, I will make the traps that I feel like making. I will check who we're fighting. Fights as a red blood, but secretly schemes to rule the country and has health feeling self healing powers. Hornstein is a rich businessman who regularly contributes to the king and has raised many orphans. If I let compassion get in my way, I would have let the uh, the, um, the husband go. Rolling bomb, you're mine. Oil vase. Your mine. And, uh. Ooh, what's Thunderbolt? Eh. I want the rolling ball. First things first, I want the rolling ball. Because it does so much damage. Bomb rolls out from mask and blows fi uh, up victim. Okay. You can do that. I don't want the cold claw yet. Because it doesn't really do too much else. Thunderbolt. It's from the floor. Lightning strikes a... Or, yeah, lightning strikes a rod. And... Okay. I'll get that some other time. Yeah, take the oil vase. Because the oil vase is important. If I had the oil vase in the spring floor, in a place with, uh, with a, um, well, let's get the magnet too, why not? It'll make it easier for me to drop an oil vase on someone. does is takes people two, uh, two blocks closer. Or rather, people and things. So, what would happen is that I would plant a landmine, a magnet, and an oil base. That would be amazing. And awesome. But you know what? I'm calling this one here. Good night. Next time. We'll see uh, Total Genocide. Or will we?